It's a public, private, and philanthropic partnership wrapping veterans in supportive services to help them succeed. James Wagner lives with chronic pain. 17 years ago, he was injured in training at Fort Sill Army Base in Oklahoma. I got hurt in basic, and then I went all the way through my AIT on a broken hip. He was discharged, prescribed opioids, and heroin followed. I was homeless, doing drugs. I had overdosed like six times in two months. Uh, yeah, it was pretty much the point of giving up. I tried to snatch some money from somebody and uh, I got caught. Charged with attempted strong arm robbery, he was in Cook County Jail almost a year. Once his paperwork arrived proving his military service, earlier this year he was accepted into the Veterans Treatment Court, or VTC, at the Layton Criminal Court building, coming face to face. He'll give you a chance or two, but you know, he don't play with you. With Judge William H. Hooks. Every veteran has kind of a different situation. The only thing that's common is that we haven't done right by them. Judge Hooks is a veteran Marine officer who comes from a family with a long history of fighting for civil rights and fighting for this country. A lot of my veterans are broken up. I mean, they got medical problems, they got addiction problems. The specialized treatment court is for veterans who plead guilty to mostly nonviolent offenses, but judges have some discretion. The probation process takes up to two years. Those who graduate can apply to have the case expunged from their records. And earlier this year, the V. ETC received a large reinforcement. I had started working on this project some years ago. Terrell Odom is the director of the Office for Military Affiliated Communities at the University of Chicago. He served in the Navy as a hospital corpsman. When I came back from service myself, I struggled with my own challenges. Uh, alcoholism was one of them. Uh, but I did have a support network. Some of these other veterans don't have that. So he wrote the proposal for the Veterans Restorative Justice Project. The project mobilizes U of C students who are affiliated with the military with a goal of crafting impactful policy. Some individuals who have mental health challenges find themselves in the jail system or the court system uh, because of crimes of desperation. How do we restore them as a person? It launched in January, funded by a two-year, $355,000 grant from the Robert R. McCormick Foundation. We're always looking for innovative uh, ways to invest. Megan Everett oversees the foundation's efforts to assist veterans. She also served with the Navy. This project is really unique because it was like two pronged because not only, um, you know, are we working with Cook County um, in their veteran treatment courts, but also these student veterans at University of Chicago, you know, it's, it's almost like job training. They're getting some real world experience. One of the graduate students involved is Annie Henderson. Her husband is also studying at U of C and he's an active duty army officer. As a public policy student, there's a lot of really big questions here. How do we think people should be treated when they make mistakes? How do we think people should be treated for issues that are outside of their control? Since it launched in Cook County in 2009, more than 550 veterans have been discharged from Veterans Treatment Court. 65% successfully completed all of the requirements to graduate. Court officials say they do not have data on recidivism rates. But the Restorative Justice Project plans to monitor the veterans' outcomes and the interventions used in the program. Any of my vets that are are in Veterans Treatment Court, I check in with them weekly. I check in with them to see how they're doing. Do they need anything? Melissa Ornelas is a Veterans Justice Outreach Specialist for the VA. She served in the Army. From my own experience transitioning from the military into civilian life, I didn't feel supported. I didn't feel that I had the help I needed. I was lost. I wasn't sure what my benefits were. How, how do I get medical care? And so with a lot of my veterans, I'm able to be there for them. She says the partnership of comprehensive resources builds on the work of the VA and she gives the court updates on the vet's progress. I would have to say maybe the hardest part of my job and it doesn't happen often, but when, when a veteran is struggling and won't recognize that they need the help. The help's out there if you're looking for it, you know, all you gotta do is ask. 
Last month, James Wagner moved out of Inner Voice housing for veterans experiencing homelessness. Big step, big accomplishment. And back into his own apartment. We got you some warm socks, cool. got black and white. Terrell Odom and several University of Chicago cool. students were there to help. To be there to see Mr. Wagner and knowing his story uh, and knowing the challenges that he faced, uh, as well as success that he's faced, um, it was humbling. Um, it reminds me of why I continue to do this work. Uh, and what I hope for with my students is that it reminds and prompts them that this work has to be done. It's, it's fulfilling. It's fulfilling and it, it, it's still a part of my obligation as a service member retired to make sure that I go back like those, those people we respect called Navy corpsmen. Pick that veteran up, put him on your shoulder, and move forward. While Wagner is moving forward with the VTC process, he's been clean now for more than a year and a half. He has a job as a machine operator, and he's working to get custody of his children. A big part of it is my kids. Yep. I do what I do a lot for them. He really embodies this attitude that we see with a lot of our veterans, that they are grateful for a second chance. They understand their life isn't on the right track, and they're desperately trying to get it back. The project is increasing outreach in the Cook County Jail to reach more veterans. They're also working to get more graduates of Veterans Treatment Court enrolled in workforce development programs and two-year colleges. Gaynor Hall, WGN News.